Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans and welcome to this review of one of the big seven Chinese New Year 2020 movies, Xu Zhong's Lost in Russia. Due to the circumstances of the virus outbreak in China, all the Chinese New Year movies have had their release dates cancelled. But luckily for all of us, the producers of this film have made the decision to release the movie for free on the internet. For those interested in knowing how, you'll need to download a Chinese video streaming app. Don't worry, it's completely safe. On the screen you'll see a QR code. Use your favourite QR code scanning function to download the app. We've tested this on both the iOS and Android. Once installed, providing you're watching this video in February March of 2020, the movie will be on the home page, ready for you to watch. There will be some additional instructions in the description of the video if you need some more information. Of the seven movies set to release at Chinese New Year, this was probably the weakest of the lot to earn the most amount of money at the box office. But now we get a chance to watch the movie before it gets officially re-released in cinemas. Is it any good? Let's check it out. This is the third in Xu Zhong's Lost In series of films, with previous installments set in Thailand and China. In this movie, Zhang plays the role of Ivan, a man who's invented a new form of heating technology with his wife, whom he's about to divorce. You may notice that the wife, Lulu, is played by Yun Chen, who is in 2019's blockbuster, The Captain. Lulu is on her way to the US to sell the rights to the heating technology, and Ivan, being petty, decides he wants to go there to underbid her and win the contract. While at the airport, Ivan can't find his passport and remembers his mother has it. She's about to catch a slow six-day train to Moscow where she's going to perform on stage at the Moscow Red Star Theatre. But it all doesn't go to plan for poor Ivan. As the train departs, his mother finds the passport in her bag. A bit of hijinks ensues here, with Ivan managing to get back on the train to get his passport, but realise he's stuck there until the next stop, six hours away. Reluctantly, he decides to stay on the train and spend some quality time with his mother. But as he finds out, spending six days with her on a train with nowhere else to go is not as easy as he thinks. If you like to laugh, it's worth a watch. Most of us still have mothers, so in some way we can relate to the plight of Ivan. Conversely, if you're a mother, you can relate to Ivan's mum as well. In a bold change from the Chinese, the slapstick and usual humour that passes for comedy has been put on the back shelf in place of actual, genuine humour and warm characters that are very likeable and very relatable. The English translation does a decent job in getting across the humour in the original Chinese script, with a few minor artistic liberties taken to localise the story. But as a family film that everyone can sit around and enjoy, it's well worth it. These all revolve around the mother-son relationship in this film. There are a few minor spoilers coming up here that shouldn't detract you from your viewing of the film. Most of us will feel genuine emotion in the scene at the end where Ivan's mother gets to take the stage and sing her solo. As we find out, it's been her dream for 48 years and there is a sense of pride for Ivan as he is able to experience the moment with his mother. Humor-wise, there is good banter between Ivan and the train conductor who frequently asks Ivan if he's going to make the journey all the way to Moscow. Visually, the scene with the bear is both entertaining and a metaphor, when Ivan finally realises that what he thinks is an overbearing, controlling mother is actually a person who just really cares for him. And then that's topped off with an entertaining Russian wedding scene. However, the humour in the movie is not going to be for everyone's tastes. If you're after a side-splitting comedy or something with a lot of visual gags, this isn't your movie. I want to tell you that the acting was bad, but it wasn't, and that includes the scenes of the Russians speaking Chinese. It's all very well done. I may have to revisit this section of the review in the comments section below. Download the app and watch the film. It's the easiest way to show your support to the filmmakers and it's completely free. No advertising, at least not the version we watched via the app. 
or annoying pop-ups that seemed to litter Chinese streaming apps. It was never going to be a big box office winner at Chinese New Year, but this smart marketing move has placed the title firmly on the tip of Asian cinema lovers' tongues. For two hours, you'll be entertained with this delightful family comedy. However, I don't expect you'll remember too much about it in the few months after you've seen it. Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to support our channel.